Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am currently on spring break and it's the perfect time to film this video for like more than one reason. The main reason I wanted to film this video today was because I was off from work but it's also Registered Dietitian Day, like National Registered Dietitian Day, March 13th, 2024. Let me see. I can't tell if y'all can see or not. Hold on. Hello. No. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. But Freeze! yeah. March 13th, and it's um, it's National Nutrition Month, like in March. So it's like. Perfect. Today's video is going to be about why I wanted to become a dietitian. My classmates already heard the story probably like a thousand times. I mean, the story isn't going to change. So let's just get right into it. So, um, wait, before I said that, I know I said that, but let me, let me turn my phone like settings down. And also text. Um, recording. Okay, now let's really get into it. So, it all started in middle school for me, and I know you're going to be like, dang girl, you knew what you want to do since 8th grade, like middle school. Yes. <laughs> And the reason for it is because, one, my mom, she was kind of always on me and like all of my siblings as well about what we wanted to do. She always wanted us to like have an idea of what we wanted to do with ourselves, like our career wise. And so that's one, that's one thing, like a factor that plays into like why I kind of knew what I wanted to do at a young age. And then the second thing was okay it's two stories to it i don't know which one i should do first actually i know which one so eighth grade i was um shoot it's a long time ago i'm sorry bear with me so eighth grade i had like a group of friends and we decided to do like a challenge to go vegetarian for a week and um I don't remember who else all did it, but I know for sure Amani did it. So if you're watching this, hi girl. Um, but I know me and Amani was doing this challenge to do vegetarian for a week. And then during this time, I also was trying to um, lose weight, which I know going vegetarian and losing weight, they shouldn't like be two kind of goals together. It's just, I was having to do, happen to do those two things at the same time. Um, and I noticed when I went vegetarian that I felt much lighter and less sluggish than I did when I was eating meat. And so after the week challenge, I realized that I wanted to continue doing this. I was like, I actually kind of like this, um, diet or this lifestyle. So I kept doing it and then I ended up eating a hamburger. <laughs> And so after that, I decided that like I would become pescatarian and start incorporating fish into my diet instead of just being vegetarian. So I was already kind of like in the nutrition mindset, if that makes sense. Like I was already like thinking more intentionally about my food than my other peers probably were. Because when I went vegetarian and then also when I became pescatarian, my family was not doing that. Like it was just me. So everyone else in my household was eating meat. And so like I had to like basically kind of figure out what I can eat and so I was like just thinking about food more often and then it honestly started off like really bad guys like I was eating like terrible like um not enough at all and then I started to realize that like just because you become pescatarian or vegetarian that doesn't mean you necessarily have to think about it as a subtracting mindset like oh I can't eat this I can't do that and just more of a substitution and I realized that like I can eat what my family is eating I don't have to make a whole another meal 
I can just do what they're doing just without the meat or like substitute it with a plant-based option. So then like when I started learning more about that, like um, my diet became a little better. <laughs> and I'm saying a little because I'm still not where I should be. But um, anyways, so yeah, I was very interested in nutrition because I was noticing about like how my body was, like I liked how I felt lighter, and then also I was thinking about what I could eat. So the second story comes in as, mind you, I was in eighth grade, so um, I'm going to ninth grade, so I'm going to go to high school, and they had these people from our high school, um, I don't even know what they're called, but basically it was kind of like the people representing IB, the people representing ECHS, which is early college high school, the program I did. Um, AP, like all these program directors, I guess that's what I should call them. All of these program directors came to my middle school and they were basically trying to like talk to us about all the programs and things like that. And then I remember we were also signing up for endorsements as well. So like all of like my classmates, my peers, we were in this like computer lab, like looking at different um, endorsements. And so like I said, since I was already like interested in nutrition and then um, my mom was also kind of like in my ear about um, knowing what I want to do, I knew that like whatever I did my endorsement as, I wanted it to like help me for my like career if that makes sense because I already knew I was going to college, like I already knew that was kind of like um, what I was going to do. Um, so I just knew whatever my endorsement was, I wanted it to be like helpful for me for college. And so I really had liked the idea of early college high school because I was like, this sounds like a really good deal. I mean, I get to get my associates in high school, which allows me to be ahead. And then the program also allowed it to be for free as well. So I was like, and I get it for free. I was like, I'm getting all my prerequisites out the way perfect and so also I had to realize okay so I didn't want to just do my basics without knowing what I wanted to do as a career either because between the two like with the early college high school program you had two options you could have graduated with an associates of arts or graduate with an associates of science and so whichever one I choose I wanted it to benefit me most and then also with my endorsement because again I'm still a call I mean a high school student well going to be a high school student um, I still had like requirements for that so we had to do an endorsement so I just wanted everything I chose to be helpful and I'm sorry I'm talking in circles you're probably like yeah girl we get it but anyways so I'm looking through all the endorsements like choices for the high school and I'm with my friend <laughs> Kivana and it's so funny because I was so close into getting into floral design until we looked up what it was because um, we both thought it was something different and then when we figured out what it was we were just like oh no we probably shouldn't do that one which don't get me wrong looking back at it I kind of do wish I could have done both I don't regret the option I chose because it did help me out with um, getting to where I am now but again y'all already know I'm interested in plants and stuff so that would have been cool to take too but that just wasn't my intention at the moment and so um, basically we were looking at the endorsements and then I also was on a separate browsers and I looked up careers A through Z and then I landed on D and then that's when I found out about dietitian because I feel like the field of nutrition slash dietitian is very specialized. It's not um, advocated enough. Like normally when you grow up, you hear people saying, I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be um, a nurse. I want to be a um, physician assistant. Like you rarely hear people say, I want to be a dietitian when I grow up. Like especially from kids or parents telling them, telling their kids to be that like you just don't hear it so when I landed on D and I was reading about the description I was like this is perfect like I just 
got so interested in it because I was already again on that like track I was just like getting more in tune with my body what I liked and how it made my body feel food wise or nutritionally and so I was just like I just thought this was the coolest job so at that point I knew I wanted to do that I wanted to pursue that and so I was looking up like things like what it took to become a dietitian and then that's when I realized that the associate of science would benefit me more than the associate of art and so I knew I was going to do ECHS and I went for associate of science and then for my endorsement I knew that culinary would be the best for what I wanted to do which again it really did help me because one I got through undergrad quicker and then also um, it was cheaper since I got my associates for free and then two um, they had offered dual credit classes for culinary if you like follow the program long enough and then I didn't even know this was a thing like I just did it to do it but one of my culinary dual credit class actually um, was one of my prerequisites for my bachelor's and I was just like oh wow that's awesome so yeah it all worked out and pretty much that's it like that's why I wanted to become a dietitian it was because or at least that's how I found out about the career and then why I chose to pursue it if that makes sense and um, I'm not gonna lie when I was an undergrad I did start to lose like some passion just because like doing classwork and schoolwork is very different than being out in the field and I do hope to regain that passion and things like that and just you have to keep in mind I've been doing like college work since ninth grade a girl is tired and so I just know that like I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be much different once I'm actually in the field because this is another reason why I want to be a dietitian um hold on guys my mouth is getting so dry <laughs> but another reason why I want to be a dietitian is because I feel like this field is so broad like you can make it what you want it you can be a nutrition like influencer or you can work for cool brands like Quaker Oats, HelloFresh and you can be the registered dietitian for that team or you can be in clinical working in the hospital or you can be in food service like it's just what you make it and so I just know that with this career I would be able to like find happiness within it and I am interested in nutrition I just gotta get through the school <laughs> gotta get through the school so I can like start like um not necessarily appreciating it but enjoying it again um it was another reason why oh another reason why I wanted to become a dietitian is because I feel like it's one of the healthcare um uh, positions that it's kind of like your own specialization if that makes sense and so like in a sense, I'm kind of like would be a food doctor if that makes sense. I would be a healthcare provider if I wanted to open up my own practice. I could do that, and I just think that is like super cool. Um, yeah, I really think that's it. Like that's the only thing that's coming to mind right now. I probably should have wrote notes like I did in my last sit down video but um, I just kind of wanted to say it straight from my head because I know the story wasn't going to change um, and things like that like I just knew that I enjoyed like I was very interested in how nutrition had helped me and like how it made me feel and I knew I wanted to like be able to work in that field and help others with that as well like it's so cool it's like also now that I'm saying this too more things are coming to mind I like that it can be a preventative approach you don't have to wait until you're diagnosed with um a condition and then start doing medications for it a lot of times issues like health issues uh, can be resolved just with the change of diet and that's just really cool to me so 
yeah um i really hope you guys enjoy this video um i don't know how long it's gonna be like what if this video is like five minutes who even knows but that's it really like that's the truth like that's why i wanted to become a dietitian um i'll see you guys in the next video bye